Hey guys and welcome back to another episode on our Android TV Box buying guide and let me start this video by sending a huge thumbs up to this great community that has been helping on this series and enriching the channel and this database that we are trying to uh, build right over here to give the most uh, accurate information and the most information possible. Now thumbs up for the global community but I would also like to send a personal thumbs up to Alan Welk, Evnuj, Bu Blanco, Adrian Jink, Ismar Adam and Skilip which and don't take me wrong guys and there were a lot of comments but these uh, were the ones that so far I've seen that will enrich even more uh, for people that come in looking for answers and one of the things that I'm loving to see is and that I love to find is when I'm searching for an answer either I find the answer or I find more questions that will lead me to another search and at the end will lead me to a better educated purchase so thumbs up for all of you I'm really happy uh, doing this series and we'll move on so on this particular topic today which is hardware it's not an easy topic and honestly I will give my personal opinion based on a fact which is my experience with a lot of devices that I've been using since uh, several 2010 2011 which gives me a background that I can at least feel comfortable to give the best accurate feedback possible now that being said one of the first things that uh, you users ask uh, when they are looking for an Android TV box is hey Robert what sock should I get or CPU if you hear CPU it's a sock and by the way uh, a sock is a motherboard with a CPU included RAM and so on and so forth which usually is developed by and the most common names that we will find on Android TV boxes will be the AM Logic Rockship which will come on the top and then we will have the all winner and real tech and less commonly we will have the i silicon chip but basically these will be uh, the socks that we will have on the market now i was forgetting that in the past we had intel uh, cpus on these devices but since Intel dropped support about one year and a half ago uh, we lost support on Android so on any time soon I don't see Intel getting back to the game on uh, uh, CPUs for the Android platform and of course I was forgetting about the Tegra X1 which is on the Nvidia Shield TV that we have talked on the previous video and what I can say is that if you choose that particular machine then you will have the X1 uh, SOC which has one of the best performances in terms of uh, TV boxes now getting back to the SOC now that I explained a little bit of what it is guys in my opinion the best SOC and the, the one that I personally prefer is from AM Logic. And right now, when I'm recording this video, and just check the date down below, uh, my favorite sock is the AM Logic S912, followed by the AM Logic S905. And why is it my favorite, if you ask? Uh, personally, because the experience that I had with all the socks that I've tested. AM Logic seems to be the one that uh, fits better on the Android devices and it's more optimized or easier to be optimized by manufacturers to get the best results possible especially on media playback gaming and so on and so forth which is basically what we use the Android TV boxes for so in terms of price and performance I would say that the AM Logic is the best fit now I'm not saying that Rockship or All Winner or or Realtek or uh, iSilicon are bad uh, socks but some of them are expensive for what they will deliver for most users and others like Rockship have been through the past two years or so or three years more or less giving not so good experiences and if you search the channel for the I don't know more than 100 videos that I made about this topic you will see that Rockship machines usually tend to give more problems than AM logic so if you want to go for a safe purchase today my uh, uh, honest answer and personal opinion based on these facts would be to go with AM Logic. Once again if you go with the X1 on the, the uh, Nvidia Shield TV you will be safe as well. Now the sock is not everything on a machine there are several uh, things that will give us a better or worse performance and one of the most important uh, things as well just after the sock is the storage that 
the manufacturer uses. And this is one of the things that people don't realize at first because when they look at the box that has the AM Logic S912 and they look at another one with the same sock but one costs 50 and the one the other one costs 100 usually they will say okay this is the same machine but one costs half of the price now there are several factors that one costs 105 and the other one costs 50 and one of those factors is the storage you will see some machines like the nvidia shield tv and mi box and minix u9h and so on and so forth with great speeds in terms of storage and then we will see also some machines with really poor performance because the manufacturer used a slow storage unit to accomplish a really low price point and this will result in a not so good experience. Now the best example that I can give here is for those of you that already have used a computer with a regular hard drive, mechanical hard drive and the same computer with an SSD, this is the best example that I can give. So slow storage will be more or less like using a 5400 RPM mechanical to 0.5 inch hard drive and a fast storage box like the ones that I mentioned just before is like using an SSD. So this means that when we are opening an app and closing an app will be almost instantaneously on top uh, uh, brand machines with high speed SSDs or high speed flash storage to be more accurate and when using a slow machine we will feel that uh, the machine is slow when opening and closing an app and then changing from app to app and of course here uh, the budget that we have will decide if we are able to use the slowest machine or if we have a little bit more and get a better machine but one thing i should mention right here guys please pay attention to benchmarks and check out the number that you see on the reads and writes of every single machine so that you can have a perfect idea on how that machine will behave and you can have some of my videos as a reference just check out the speeds from uh, the machines that i mentioned nvd shield tv which is the fastest one minix u9h and minix u1 which i believe that are on the second place uh, mi box 3 and a few others that i can't recall all of them right now and then if you look at some of those cheaper machines you will see a huge difference and this is one of the things that i would like to mention here when choosing hardware not only the sock is important not only the ram but also the uh, flash storage that will be used every single minute when we open and close an app. Now I also talked about RAM and in my opinion as I said on previous videos where I did compare devices with two three gigabytes of RAM and even one gigabyte of RAM at this moment the balance is on two gigabytes of RAM. Don't get less than that and more than 2 gigabytes of RAM, I also believe that it's a waste. If you find a machine that is the same price with 2 gigabytes or 3 gigabytes, then sure, go for the 3 gigabytes. Or if the price difference is very small, always go for the one that has more. But it's not a huge deal because as I did test out on previous videos, uh, in terms of multitasking, we can have a lot of apps on 2 gigabytes and also on 3 gigabytes on the background uh, without having any impact at all. And of course that there are other factors like build quality, firmware and brands and support and so on and so forth. But for those, I will have another videos that will help us to get a bigger database as I said. So this one is just about hardware but have in mind that even though that one manufacturer has the same or looks to have the same hardware than uh, the manufacturer B, probably the uh, hardware is not the same, probably one is using cheaper components, weaker components and of course I'm not even talking about the build quality of the box itself which will be something that it's very personal. If you prefer white, black, brown and so on and so forth that will be always a personal question. And that is it guys. I believe that I've talked enough, enough about this uh, topic but if there's any other question that you still have in terms of hardware then feel free to comment down below and all of you guys that are contributing to this uh, series of video just feel free to drop down below your experience that will help any user that comes here for the first time and hopefully he will find the answers that is looking for before making a educated purchase which is what we are trying to achieve with this uh, mini series that being said my name is Alberto George and I hope to see all of you on the next one